Well being at the bar, it really is important because it's a stressful job and often you feel it's you representing your client and it can be quite lonely doing that and it's difficult. We need to prioritise well-being at the bar because if we don't, we're going to continue to see the hemorrhaging of talents that we are currently already experiencing. And sometimes the work that we do, whether particularly in family and in criminal work, is emotionally charged, whether it's talking to victims or dealing with defendants or dealing with mothers, fathers who are about to lose their children. There is a huge backlog of cases, of over 60,000 cases, and the result of that is that there's pressure on barristers to do more and more work during the week and to cover more and more cases in the courts. I think wellbeing is important for the employed bar because the pressures can be enormous. Uh, not only do you have the day-to-day -day work of a barrister, but also executive responsibilities, running the company, and also managing often large and diverse teams as well. What I'd say to members of the Young Bar who are struggling with their well-being is, first and foremostly, that you're not alone. In my opinion, the biggest success over the past five years has been having the conversation about well-being. I would advise every barrister to treat themselves with the same respect as they treat those who are closest and nearest and dearest to them. None of us should be too proud to seek help from our friends and colleagues or professional help if we need it. I think it's really helpful if Chambers have in place somebody who's a first point of contact, might be someone in the clerk's room, might be a member of Chambers, perhaps a member of the Equality and Diversity Committee, who's someone who you can go to talk to in complete confidence if you're feeling under stress or under too much pressure. On the Northeastern Circuit, we have not, not only our own wellbeing officer, but we've also engaged a trained professional to support not just individual members, but also sets of chambers. Barristers with a diagnosed health condition can find support from chambers. They can ask their practice managers, their heads of chambers, their CEOs for help. The Bar Council offers a number of resources in relation to wellbeing, including the Assistance Programme, which is a 24-hour hotline which people can call whenever they feel in difficulty and in need of support. There are also online a number of resources available.